Welcome back to our channel. Wondering how to use real brush pens correctly? In this video tutorial, you will learn 16 amazing painting techniques that will help to take a fresh look at real brush pens. Watch the video till the end and decide which technique is your favorite. Subscribe if you're new to our channel and click the bell to be notified of our newest videos. Now let's talk in detail about each real brush pen drawing technique. Dry real brush pens on dry paper. This is one of the basic ways to draw with real brush pens. Choose your favorite color and fill in a section with it. Apply strokes one by one so you get a solid but slightly graphic shade. dipping real brush pens into water and applying it on dry paper. Take a real brush pen of a different color and start coloring like you did with the first technique. Then, lightly dip the real brush pen into water and continue painting. This will change the tone of the color. This way you can create a gradient from dark to light and create smooth shading. Creating texture with dry real brush pens on dry paper. Using this technique, you can give your piece the appearance of a rough texture. Apply light pressure to your real brush pen to flatten the bristles and begin painting, showing the paper texture. Here you can determine the amount of color and shading you like. Dry real brush pen on wet paper. Apply water to the paper and paint this area with a real brush pen. You'll get a watercolor effect this way. After a while, your pen may not paint brightly. This is because wet paper draws out the ink in the pen. Simply revive your pen on a palette or dry paper to begin coloring again. mixing two colors on paper. Choose two colors that complement each other. Add water to the paper so that it's easier to blend. Alternate the colors by mixing them on wet paper. You can also try blending the shades while they're dry. The colors will appear brighter, but the gradient will be less smooth. two color gradient. Choose another two colors. On one side, paint with one color, creating a solid gradient. Then take another color and start painting the other side, moving towards the middle. Darken the shades and mix colors in the middle. overlapping one color with another. Create unique overlapping effects with the translucent ink. Start by painting the area with one color and wait until it dries. Then draw lines or patterns with another color on top. New shades can appear when the colors overlap with each other. Choosing light colors will make the effect more noticeable. You can also add a glazing effect using a similar technique. Creating water stains with a water brush pen. 
Choose dark colors to make the effect more noticeable. Add water to the area, then paint it with the real brush pen. Wait a little so that the paper is not too wet. Then drip some water onto the area. The water will flow and form a beautiful pattern. Remove any excess water with a soft brush. If you drip water too early, the effect won't be noticeable. If the paper is dry, there will be no effect at all. You can also tilt the pad so that the water flows better. Colored dots on a colored background. Add water to the paper and paint it with a light shade. Start randomly dotting the paper with a contrasting tone. The colored dots will spread slightly on wet paper and form stars. You can make them bigger by putting the brush on the same place. The contrast of different points will form a beautiful pattern. Gradient Tone Add water to the area so your colors can mix, leaving a dry area. Using a real brush pen, start painting the dry area and move to the wet one. Create a smooth gradient from dark to light. Since the paper is wet, the gradient will be more even. Keep adding color until you achieve the desired result. Creating Textures Create textures with real brush pens and a palette to complement your illustrations. Cut a stencil out of paper so you'll only get color on the desired area. Take a piece of fabric and cut out a piece slightly bigger than your stencil. Add water to your palette and mix the colors you like. Take the fabric and soak it in the ink so that the surface is dyed. Gently press the fabric in the center of the stencil. To make the design clear, you can use a cap to press the fabric onto the paper. Then remove the stencil. If certain areas didn't get color, repeat the previous steps. Water Dots Paint the area with a dark color. Wait a little so that the paper is not too wet. Dip a real brush pen into the water and use it to place small water dots. The water dots will spread and turn into stars. Salt Technique Add water to the area you're going to paint. Paint this area with a dark color and sprinkle on a little salt. Don't pour too much, otherwise you won't get a pattern and the salt will pile up in a heap. After a couple of minutes, you'll see that the salt has dissolved, crushed the pigment, and formed a crystalline pattern. Painting fins with a water brush. Use a water brush pen to wet the paper, blur, and blend away any harsh lines. Load the water brush with paint from the palette and create mid-tones. Mix colors to get the tint you need. This way you can draw elements with different tones as well as create new shades.
overlapping. When the large area dries, add a translucent shade to add volume and dimension. This technique is also good for making shadows. Line Technique Using the tip of the real brush pen, you can create lines that will complement and detail your artwork. By controlling the amount of pressure you apply, you'll get either thin or thick lines, as well as lines that show the texture of the paper. Try different techniques and have fun! We hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials, painting process videos, DIY guides, and time lapses.